Here a case of dense nuclear cataract for 80 years old male patient with very well dilated pupil as usual started with 2.2 clear corneal incision injecting dispersive OVD then doing uh, about 5.5 millimeters uh, capsule rexes you can see the fluid wave during the hydro dissection then injecting dispersive OVD and rotate the nucleus here you can see a sharp pointed chobuck I'm going to do vertical chop technique for this dense cataract shaving the cortex then you can see impaling the uh, phaco tip in the hard nucleus then doing vertical chop with horizontal element you can see chopping the nucleus into smaller pieces at this point you can see the floating of the iris and how the pupil starts to constrict the cataract chopped into smaller pieces but the posterior plate wasn't chopped very well now you can see the pupil constricts and I inject OVD to dilate the pupil dispersive type then I change the sharp pointed chopper into another uh, Chobak with a blunt tip and emulsifying these smaller pieces as it's clear but the pupil constricts all the time of the surgery here the second time I inject dispersive OVD to dilate the pupil then rotate the nucleus trying to emulsifying these smaller pieces you can see here the pupil it's about two millimeters in diameter then go through the main incision and injecting dispersive OVD again to dilate the pupil and continue emulsifying you can see how the iris is floating in the anterior chamber it's floppy iris you can see how the pupil is constricting here also again injecting dispersive OVD to dilate the pupil and using the chopper to rotate and to push the iris away from the phaco tip while emulsifying this dense cataract you can see here the posterior plate is not chopped well during the vertical chop technique again injecting dispersive OVD through the sideboard and continue emulsifying you can see the pupil now two millimeters diameter injecting OVD dilating the pupil rotating the nucleus continue emulsifying these pieces it was hard to emulsifying this cataract through this small pupil again injecting OVD and continue emulsifying at this point I damage the pupil edge by the peco trip here also you can see the pupil 2 millimeters again injecting OVD and complete this hard mission now the pupil 1.5 millimeters was hard to emulsifying this cataract through this small pupil again injecting OVD and continue this hard mission you can see the pupil is very small now 1.5 millimeters it's very difficult to emulsifying this cataract through this small pupil I think it was better for me to use a pupil expander devices while emulsifying this dense cataract but actually the pupil was very well dilated at the beginning of the surgery it was more than six millimeters in diameter 
again you can see the pupils about two millimeters in diameter now you can see the last uh, piece and you can see also the uh, epinucleus and cortical shell by the end of the surgery again injecting dispersive OBD and rotate this shell and doing only aspiration for this epinucleus and cortical shell now going to uh, removing the cortex using the bimanual irrigation aspiration you can see also the pupil is small and the cortex was stuck in the posterior capsule so i'm trying to push the iris with the irrigation probe and holding the cortex peeling it and aspirate it here i'm pushing the iris with the irrigation probe then using the aspiration probe to hold the cortex and aspirate Now you can see the edge of the pupil. It was damaged by the PECO probe. Inferiorly and nasally, then injecting cohesive OBD to implant single piece hydrophobic IOL in the capsular bag, then removing the OBD from the AC and behind the IOL, then doing stromal hydration. And thank you for watching this video.